Prince Charles has left for his cottage in Wales to privately grieve the loss of his father. Following an extraordinary summit with Prince William and Prince Harry immediately after Prince Philip's funeral. I have learned the grief-stricken Prince of Wales fled to Cloynawermod in Landovery on his own within 24 hours of his father being laid to rest. He departed after a face-to-face -face meeting within the grounds of Windsor Castle with his two sons where they started the baby steps towards a reconciliation following Harry and Meghan's bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. But, in an unprecedented development that lays bare the depth of their rift, Charles and William preferred to meet with Harry together so that nobody's words could be misconstrued afterwards. A senior royal insider said, Obviously after the worldwide fallout of the Oprah interview trust has to be rebuilt. There was no official wake after the funeral, but Charles, William and Harry took the opportunity to speak and catch up face to face after many months apart. They were only able to spend a short time together outdoors given COVID restrictions and also without staff, including senior courtiers, overhearing what was being said. It was important to Charles and William that they were both there together. It means nothing spoken about can be misconstrued in the future. Kate also attended parts of the talks, some of which took place at Frogmore Cottage, Harry's home within the grounds of Windsor Castle, according to The Sun. Another senior royal insider said, there is much pain and hurt on both sides, so this reconciliation will take place in baby steps. First, they need to decide on some ground rules as to how they conduct business going forward in a way that makes all parties feel safe and protected. Crucially, Charles and William have the Queen's support to deal with the situation. The source explained, the Queen has made it clear to senior advisers that she is united with Charles and William and was disappointed with aspects of Harry and Meghan's interview. Harry remains in Windsor on an open-ended ticket, with a source revealing earlier today that he could stay for the Queen's 95th birthday on Wednesday before returning to his pregnant wife in California later in the week. But Charles decided he needed to contemplate on a solitary basis in peace at his Welsh hideaway, a £1.2 million converted farmhouse in the Brecon Beacons. It is believed his wife Camilla has remained in London, where she is continuing with private commitments. My source added, Charles felt he wanted to reflect alone. He also wants to attend to the thousands of letters sent to him in condolence of his father's death. He is acutely aware that this is a hugely significant moment in his life and he feels like he has the weight of the world of his shoulders. All his life he has been heir to throne, but Prince Philip was the patriarch of the family. Overnight that's changed, and it's impacted him both professionally and personally. He needs time to think and contemplate the future of the royal family after what was a very difficult week. The source added, There is no better place for Charles to come to terms with his grief and start to think about his future. He has a daunting amount to consider, including the ongoing tensions between William and Harry which will not be easily resolved.